Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will be solving uh, this problem. We want to determine the equivalent uh, resistance of the circuit shown here. Uh, this circuit is a complex circuit, means it, ha it is a combination of uh, series and parallel circuits uh, or connections in the same circuit. Uh, to solve this problem easily, girls, we need to break it down. Break it into small parts and do each part uh, separately. For example, we can start by calculating this uh, or the resistance of this parallel connection first. We know that whenever resistors are connected in parallel, the formula used will be 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, uh, etc. for sure. Uh, let us apply this formula for what we have here. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6. So 1 over R equivalent is equal to 2 over 6. For sure, you can do it in decimal. But here, since the two fractions are very easy to add, I chose to uh, use fraction notation. Then I to find R equivalent, I'll be taking the reciprocal of both sides. So R equivalent, again, I'm taking reciprocal here, is 6 divided by 2, which is simply only 3 ohm. So here, the equivalent resistance of this connection is 3 ohm. We can notice uh, that this, these two circuit, uh, um, so, sorry, these two resistors that are in parallel are connected with another 3 ohm. So let me say the resistance here for this part, I will name it part A, let me say. So the total resistance of part A is the parallel part, which is 3 ohm, plus another 3 ohm connected in series with it is equal to 6 ohm. So the first line here uh, is equal or equivalent to, sorry, to 6 ohm. Okay. So now next I can, uh, or I have to connect, uh, to calculate the equivalent resistance of this parallel connection over here. Using the same formula, 1 over R equivalent, here I'm using red for this part, equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over, 1 over uh, 12. 1 over 4 equals, you can do this here using the calculator. It should be a simple calculation. 1 over uh, 4, as decimal here you can do it, you will get that it is equal to 0 0.333, etc. Taking the reciprocal of both sides, you will find here also that R equivalent is equal to 3 ohm. So also this, if we have 4 ohms and 12 ohms connected in parallel, the equivalent will be 3 ohm. Now this time, this is 3 ohm, and this part is connected to 2 ohm in series. Let me call this second line here B, line B. So RB is equal to 3 ohm of the parallel connection plus 2 ohm connected in series with it. And this will give me 5 ohm. Now, if you take a closer look, you will find that this or part A and part B are just two parts connected in parallel. So I can say that uh, this 6 ohm is connected in parallel with the 5 ohm. And I need to find the equivalence of this parallel connection. Okay, so I can write this as a note here that uh, RA and, uh, and comma RB are connected in parallel. So to find the equivalence of all this big parallel connection, I will be applying 1 over R is equal to 1 over 6 for part A plus 1 over 5 for part B. Doing this, okay, I'll go down here, 1 over R will be equal to, you can calculate it now with me, plus 1 divided by 5 will be equal to 0 0.3, uh, a lot of uh, 6, but we can have here or round it here to 7. 
For sure, again and again, I need to be taking the reciprocal of both sides. So R will be equal to two point taking the reciprocal or simply on the calculator, you can put 0 0.37 to the power of negative one, 2.73 ohms. So this is the total, let me name it P, parallel connection, the big parallel connection that I have here. Notice that this parallel connection is connected finally or lastly with another 3 ohm here in series. So I can say now that R total or R equivalent for the whole circuit is equal to 2.73 and then plus 3 ohm which is equal to 5.73 ohm. And this is the correct uh, final answer for this problem. Again, if you do it in uh, steps and break it down, it will be a very easy and uh, enjoyable task to do. Good luck, girls. If you have any question, please feel free to ask.